Hey everyone, and welcome to the Esports Hector YouTube channel. In this video, we're gonna go over more or less an update, what's going on with me personally, talk about RLCS, which I attended recently, and just talk about my experiences with all of that. Like, subscribe, share, I would greatly appreciate that as I try to create as much content and as much value as I possibly can for you. So take a seat and enjoy the ride. About two weekends ago, I went over to the RLCS event in Boston. I'm a native of Massachusetts, so I figured it's in my backyard, why not go check it out? And what I was able to experience was something unlike anything I've ever imagined. Now, for reference, I also went to the Call of Duty League Boston event back in February, when it was probably the coldest that we've ever had in quite some time. But what RLCS did was something absolutely special. The introduction by far was just so amazing. And it really captivated the audience to get them amped up and ready to go and watch and cheer on as their favorite teams battled it out to see who would be the RLCS champion. The other reason why I wanted to attend RLCS in Boston was because of the fact that there was a content creator that I got to work with at my time at Parabellum, as well as a former Parabellum Rocket League player himself. I got to catch up with him and meet him for the first time seeing as he lives down in Brazil. And understanding really what made this all special was the fact that here are people from all over the world coming together in one location to essentially enjoy the exact same thing. You wouldn't get that anywhere else personally, maybe something like a FIFA World Cup. But the fact that I can work with someone from anywhere in the world, in this case, Brazil, he comes up and we can actually sit down together and talk RLCS. That was something really special. Also, I got to speak with Lachlan, who is the head coach for Elevate and their Rocket League roster. And I met him, and by meeting him, I mean I got the first chat with him just right at the start of the pandemic, I wanna say. So it's been about a good three years where we've just been in communication either through voice chat, video chat. I've been on his podcast, which I will release that in a separate video down the road. But also just meeting him in person. It was, again, quite special in the fact that I've been talking to this person for so long that to finally shake their hand and, you know, kind of just say, hey, congrats on getting here. Hopefully you had a good time in the city and hopefully you can you know, enjoy a couple things while you're here before you have to go back. That was something again for me that was really special. This supersedes just gaming. It really created a sense of community that again, when I was at the CDL, I didn't really notice so much. People were talking by all means, but I felt like there was a deeper connection where I could just look at someone to the left of me and just have a conversation with them about what's going on. Whereas everyone at CDL just felt very, you know, almost in their clip. And that was, for RLCS, I wanna give them kudos for really creating an inclusive environment that really just captivates the audience to want to watch. One of the funny moments of RLCS was I got to attend the Gen G party, which was also a fantastic event that was held uh, across the street from the arena. And quick story here was there was someone, again, did not know. We started chatting and he was essentially just telling me, oh, this person does this, this person does that within Rocket League, whether it's a pro player or content creator. And I think he was expecting me to be shell-shocked and, and in awe about it. But really, I understand that 
you know, whether you're a content creator or a pro player, while, yeah, it's exciting to meet you, I can't be fanboying or fangirling about it just because of the fact that at the end of the day, there's still people. So I just wanted to treat everyone like I would just treat my own friends. Just say, hey, what's going on? Great game or, you know, love the content that you create. Keep doing what you're doing and keep moving forward with that. Instead of, you know, just trembling and shaking and getting all giddy about what do I say? Am I gonna sound stupid? Nope, just, that is my one thing that I would say is just treat everyone like they're your friend already and just acknowledge them in terms of what they're doing in the space and just leave the conversation at that and whether they wanna continue chatting with you, it's up to them. So that right there is my quick little roundup of what I did a few weeks ago at the RLCS in Boston. I hope you enjoyed the video. So as always, everyone, stay healthy and game on.